Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and we are so excited this morning to talk to Teresa Berry, who is the Executive Director of Marion's Closet, one of those wonderful organizations that uh, truly help Wadsworth in so many directions. So good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Janie. It's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, sure. I've just been telling her. I She's in her sunroom at home, and oh my gosh, I had a hard time coming to work today because it's so beautiful out, and then to see you in the sunroom, it's even harder. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's learn a little bit about you and, um, and Marion's Closet as well. So first of all, Teresa, tell us, what does Marion's Closet do? Well, Marion's Closet, we are a nonprofit free store. Kind of a hard thing to imagine. What does a free store look like? Sounds like an oxymoron. Anyway, um, so we are a faith-based organization. We provide or distribute clothing, houseware items, diapers, uh, menstrual products. Um, we have all shoes, you name it. We've got a lot of different things that we provide for people that are in need. So um, we're located right here in Wadsworth and our community is just very supportive of what we do to provide for those who you might be going through difficult financial times. And, you know, currently prices are a little bit crazy. So we have seen a big uptick in the number of people coming through our doors, new um, new applications to, to be members at Marriott's Closet. Boy, that's wonderful. Now, um, I wanted to ask about you also. So you haven't been in this role a whole long of a time, but um, it, and you've made a huge splash when you came into Wadsworth as the executive director at Marion's Closet. So give us a little bit about your background. Well, my background is it's rather circuitous how I came here. I was actually trained as a pediatrician. I was in practice here in Wadsworth for 10 years. And then I have MS. So if you see me going around town with uh, those hiking poles, it's not because I'm making a style statement. It's for real. <laughs> I need those for balance. And um, I, um, because of that, I came home and uh, it just was too hard for me to continue in practice. And then I home educated my daughters uh, for a long time. I think I calculated 18 years because I have two girls. Uh, one of them is an engineer out Northwest Junior Year at University of Akron. So it's, you know, my my story getting here, it's, I, I couldn't really explain this thing, but if I wanted to, but I just feel like the journey was all part of God's plan. Um, I've been outfitted with different skill sets and um, these things have all come together to help me to do what I do now, which is just way fun. Very nice. Okay, so explain to me, like, if a family is is um, realizes they're having a, a hard time and would like some help, what do they do? They just need to come to our store. So when they come in, um, we have a counter there, and there's um, we have volunteers working that counter, and they will sign them up for an account. An account in our store enables people to be able to uh, purchase for free items in our store at very generous limits. Um, so when I say generous, people can get up to 30 clothing items per adult per month. It's a mm -hmm. little bit crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. I know. And it's, it's hard to explain how do we keep up with these numbers. And it's just a God thing. You just watch stuff come through the back door, you know, donations from people. And they go right out through the front to people that need them. Um, it costs a family, of, sorry, it costs a family $15 for a year for a membership. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now in some circumstances, people maybe are homeless or people are in a very difficult situation, maybe domestic violence, something like that. Um, in those cases, we do waive fees. We, we're, not, we're not trying to make money, but it does give people dignity to know that they were able to pay for a membership. And for an individual for the year, it's $10. So, um, so they would um, sign up. We get all their family members' names on the account. And then when they come in, we keep track of it on computers. So just knowing how much is going out in a month. We also have, like I said, diapers. So a family could get, for each child, they can get a pack of diapers and a pack of wipes. Um, those are all generously donated by churches. And you know what? It's only by the grace of God that you that people get through life without at some point needing help. Yes. So and we that, are, so yeah, we're so blessed to be able to, 
um, have this in our community. It's just kind of, um, it's a crazy thing. And, um, and, and to be able to help people, you know, that whoever can get there can get the help that they need. Oh, that's great. Well, I think you've told us a little bit about what is unique about um, Marion's Closet, um, but you probably have some more insight. I'm thinking what's so unique is that you can just come in and uh, and take the things right out of the store that people have lovingly donated. That's exactly. I think it's what's, there's several things that are unique. One is it's a free store. Um, mm -hmm. Free store. I, I did some research one day trying to find other free stores. I found one, I believe, in Burton City. But what we have is very unique. I've talked to United Way. I'm like, because we get we get people that will come from Summit County and they're like, is there anything like this near us? And unfortunately, there is not. So the free store is unique. The second thing that makes us unique is that we're all about throughput. Um, so when somebody, when you come to the back door and you donate something to our store, it's not unusual for it to be out on the shelves, ready for somebody to have in 15, 20 minutes. Our volunteers in the back, they are a well-oiled machine. And so they sort through things, make sure they're clean, not ripped up, damaged, and they have them hung up or placed out in the store area at a very rapid pace. They're incredible. That's so nice because it, um, I appreciate the fact, too, that you put out things that are clean and not stained and not ripped and things like that because that's a respect kind of thing well, yeah absolutely. and people yeah. are really good about bringing us in good stuff too so you know in general we don't we're not necessarily having to um, separate out a lot of things that don't, that don't now do what, uh, what if someone wants to volunteer at marion's closet if they want to volunteer then they can contact me they can go okay. through our email um at director at marionscloset.org. They can go through the website. There's a contact uh, method that they could go that way. They can also um, stop by the store. They can phone the store um, during our regular hours. And if they phone other times, I can, I'll can i get the message and I'll get back with them. So. Now, Teresa, why do you love what you do? Because I know you do. <laughs> Let me count the ways. I'm sitting here thinking, that is a loaded question. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, I love what I do because um, it's such a God thing, seeing God do great things through our community, through people um, that just have a heart for those who have needs and, um, and reaching people in that way. Um, the other part is my volunteers. Uh, I have a volunteer course. It's amazing. And I, I just, I love them all. Um, my board, I have, you know, a great board of directors, very supportive and um, so appreciative of them. Um, I like just being able to help families in the situation they're in, you know, hearing their story, being able to pray for them, um, just, just being there for them. Uh, I love seeing the generosity of the community that mm -hmm. just feeds my heart. It's like, um, you know, we, I'll be um, in the office working and I'll come out and, you know, um, see that the store is filled. I'm like, I don't know how this happens. On an average day, we have close to 800 items going out of our store. That's in a three-hour period. And to walk back through the store and see it replenished, it's like manna from heaven. It's crazy. Boy, that is amazing. Yes. You, um, I just wanted to ask you real quickly, how are you funded? Okay, we are funded truly just for the support of the community. Our, um, I'm glad you asked that because our main fundraiser can't speak. Main fundraiser is coming up in August on August 4th, a Friday. It will be a golf outing that will be at Chippewa, and that is that's the main way we get money um, because it does cost money to operate, even though most of the goods that come through are free, mm -hmm. um, and we have grants to help us. Um, but we have no government support. It's purely by the generosity of our community that this happens. If anybody is interested in the um, our fundraising benefit um, at Chippewa, I would appreciate if they would just go to our website. There's all kinds of information there and they can actually contact me again, like I said, through that. And I would love to talk to them about it. Okay. And how can people find you, Teresa? We're actually, um, if you're familiar with Wadsworth, we're located behind United Methodist Church on East. If you're not familiar with Wadsworth United Methodist is, if you uh, go to the square, and you go east on Broad, we are just two blocks down. So, oh, and then it's right. 
And what are the hours that you're open for the store? The store hours, we are open Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we're open Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So we have a little bit of some evening hours and we have uh, Saturday weekend hours to help people. Okay, that sounds great. Teresa, we can't thank you enough for all you and the volunteers do uh, for our community. Because like I said, there's just, you barely make it through life yeah. without at some point needing some type of help. So we yeah. appreciate you being there for that time as well. So thank you for all that you do. And um, you know what, a couple months ago, uh, maybe a longer than that, the chamber board uh, came to volunteer at Marion's Closet and we were truly blown away from the amount of donations, the cleanliness of the store, and just the heartwarming feeling that you have at Marion's Closet. So thank you for all that you do. Well, thank you so much, Janie, and thank you for supporting us. Couldn't do what we do without the support of our community, which is awesome. So thanks to all. And enjoy the time in your sunroom today. Yeah, well, actually, I've got more things to do, so I'll be out and about the community. So maybe I'll see you guys. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Janie.